Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining us. We're here at Infosys Confluence over at our Hack Day event. We're very excited about it and delighted to have here uh, Vandana Sikka, the chairperson of the of Infosys Foundation USA. Vandana, you had you started the day out with a bang. You had a, a session on stage with Hadi Partovi from Code.org. Um, what did you think? How, what did you uh, did you what did you like about it, or what went well for you? It was good. First of all, talking to Hardy about the mission that we have both signed on to is always a pleasure. Um, the panel, I think, went well. Um, our intent was to send out the message to as many people as we possibly can, and I think we succeeded in that. A lot of people came out and uh, reached out to us and wanted to talk about this a little more, and they were they were the feedback was very positive, and they were thankful that we educated them about such a uh, big growing concern. Awesome. And I know you talked about it on stage as well, Vandana, and you mentioned many times that when you first met Hadi a very relatively short time ago, there was this almost like an immediate meeting of minds that yes. you knew where he was coming from, he knew you where you were coming from. Yes. Anything you can share about that, about that meeting, which you just felt immediately made you feel that this was something that you wanted to support? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's one of those rare meetings where you know that something has to be done together. Uh, anytime I would be talking to him, he would be nodding his head because he knew that I understood what they were doing and how significant that was. And uh, when he was talking, it was likewise. It was very mutual and we had the synergy right there. Um, and I'm very glad and thrilled that we actually move forward and we are partnering with them uh, as their largest uh, partner. And we, are, uh, we are in this together where we want to bring computer science to every child in America. Awesome. One of the things that uh, viewers may not realize, I mean, are, you know, would not appreciate is the foundation, how young it is. Infosys Foundation India has been there for a long time. Infosys Foundation USA, which you're, you're chairing, is a relatively new uh, uh, initiative. What, um, if I if I could, what kind of drove you to to advocate for for starting this? And um, what is your vision for the foundation for Infosys Foundation USA? Where would you like to see it go? Um, how would you know that? when looking at it, whether it's successful or not, that it's meeting your vision. Yeah, definitely. So Infosys as a company, as I know it, um, has been uh, doing CSR work for the last 20 years. They have a long heritage of doing that. And um, you'll be surprised to know that in 2015, just this year, they are they, they have committed to more than 50 million in CSR uh, globally. That's U.S. dollars. Uh, yes, 50 million U.S. dollars wow. uh, committed globally. Um, a lot of that is uh, used up in India, which is still a developing country. But 10 million of that have been marked out for uh, the U.S. Foundation. And um, we are very excited about the mission that we are champion here, which is to bring computer science uh, to every student in every public school in America. In particular, we want to emphasize participation um, by the underrepresented groups, you know, the minorities, African-Americans, Hispanics, disabled, and most significantly girls. Um, there are a lot of stereotypes issued. Um, people think of computer science as a very elite subject that they cannot reach or it would be too hard for them. Uh, and of course, before we get there, uh, most of the public schools don't even offer computer science. So as someone who studied computer science for six years, I have a background in IT. I've worked in uh, a lot of value startups as a designer, as a programmer, and in management roles, in board roles. Uh, I feel very strongly that we need to make our workforce more diverse. And so in order to do that, we need to make sure that more and more people from diverse communities actually participate in computer science at the very basic grassroots levels, um, which is our education system. So um, I volunteered for this job, and it's very exciting and compelling for me. So one question for you, Vandana, we talk about computer science. Um, why are you talking about going, you know, why computer science for everybody? Really, I guess would, would be the question. Yeah, that's a great question, and that talks about the heart of the whole matter. Um, if you look at the world around us, everything is changing at a very sweeping pace. The world that we see tomorrow will be very different from th how things are today. And all this will be enabled by technology, uh, by computing. Um, already the U.S. has a projected skill shortage of more than 1 million jobs. And this gap is just going to keep widening. So we have to ask ourselves, where is the workforce of tomorrow coming from? Beyond that, we also have to think about representation. Uh, right now, people from underrepresented communities don't participate in computer science at the school level. So that pretty much excludes 70% of the world's population. And this in turn affects diversity in our workforce. Um, if we want to crack the problem,
problem about diversity in the population. And we have to take a step back and start uh, introducing computing in a way so that it is accessible to everyone. And then last but not the least, we have to stop thinking of computer science as a standalone subject. Because computers and computing and technology impacts every single field in the world. As I said, you know, the world will go through sweeping changes and technology will be the great amplifier. So every profession, every field, whether it is healthcare, entertainment, manufacturing, everything will go through sweeping changes. So if a child wants to be a doctor, a writer, or a, just a maker who wants to go into manufacturing, um, the way they do work, the way they interact, uh, will, will be significantly impacted, and their success will depend uh, on, on the computing skills that they acquired during their school And as a last question for you, Vandana, uh, for our viewers who are, who are seeing this and, you know, hope, we're hoping to use this as a video blog or something like that, what would you like their takeaway to be? I mean, so someone is sitting out there watching the video and they're saying, well, that sounds like a really good cause I would like to get engaged in. What would be your... Um, what would be your call to action to people like that who want to participate, who want to support, who want to engage? Well, that's a great question. Um, I think the first and the easiest thing that we can all do is to inspire somebody. Uh, think of the child next door or your own child. Encourage somebody to try their hands at programming. Uh, you know, as Steve Jobs has said, uh, the people who made all this awesome stuff that we use are no better or no worse than any one of us. If they can do it, any one of us can do that. So, um, Inspiring people to break those stereotypes is the first thing I would, I would hope that people do. And then beyond that, you know, if you have a child in, a, in your local public school, ask, find out if, if, if they offer computer science. Advocate, become a champion for this. Um, beyond that, if you work in a big company, then you probably have access to a big network of uh, other IT professionals, experts, networks, facilities, and of course funding. Anything that you can give back, that would just be awesome. Great. Thanks so much, everyone. Um, uh, again, delighted to have had uh, Vandana Sikha, the chairperson of Infosys Foundation USA, with us. You can follow her on Twitter at VT Sikha. That's V-T-S-I-K-K-A. Thank you for watching.